Hey guys and welcome back to Just Being Sierra. Today's video is another math activity that you guys can easily do in your classroom. So starting this week, first grade is doing different math bins. Um, so as you can see, we have it set up just like this where we have different color bins and then we have different bins for different items. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick what each what is in each bin and then i will show you the directions for each game that we've added for pink blue green yellow and purple so down here we have our unifix cubes and then we have our counting bears this is a really good game where you're trying to figure out how much a child can figure out that you did. So you tell the child, I have five bears. I'm gonna hide some. They close their eyes. You take some away. They need to say that they that you took three. So really great game. And then of course we have our red and yellow um, chips, which go on certain things. Um, such as like five in a row, and I'll show you that in just a second as well. We have our hundreds charts where we keep these in here. We have two different ones that the kids can use. And so this is just to help them count by ones, twos, fives, and tens. And then we have our dice in here where we have the dice with the larger numbers on this one. Our dice using the just the dot and then our dice using the actual numbers over here we have our unifix cube this is so that the kids could build numbers of 8 10 9 5 4 stuff like that so this right here is a worksheet prime example where the kids have if they have seven if they have six if they have five or if they have four where they would take these have the number that they, they have so prime example if a kid had this worksheet and their number was seven they have one two three four five six seven they're going to draw how many yellows they got when they did it and then how many reds and then make the math equation towards the end. In this bin here, it is the roll and record where the kids are taking the regular dice and they are rolling it and whatever they get, they will color in that box. So if a kid gets a dice, rolls a three, they're going to color in this one box. If they roll it and get another three, they'll color the next box. And this is another game called five in a row subtraction or um, there's also five in a row addition where you take the chips and you'll just sit it on the number that you got once you subtract. Um, and then down in this bin is nothing. I just wanted to show it. So this purple bin, the purple bin now is a game where that you arrange the cards face down just like this each person will pick up two cards each person will add their two cards together and the person with the highest wins all the cards yellow bin is a game where the kids are putting the cards face down again just like this each person has to pick up two cards and they will add them together and then the person with the highest card wins. So yes, the yellow bin and the purple bin are the same. In the yellow, in the, I'm sorry, in the green bin, the kids are rolling the dice and adding what number they get to add. So if the kid gets a six, they have to add 10 plus six and tell how much that is. In the blue bin, it is um, a different game where you have the cards arranged face down, and then one person is gonna flip over two cards and add them together. If they equal 10, you know, they get to keep them. If not, you flip them back over and the next person takes a turn. 
And last but not least, we have the pink, or you can call it the red bin, where the kids are just adding. So they don't need any, or actually they need dice for the bottom part, and they are just going to, um, they're gonna just add the number that they got. So they're gonna be just, like I said, adding, and that is that, or they'll have a paper like this. So yeah, thanks guys for watching and learning some new math ideas. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys will find a way to incorporate this into your classroom.